Brothers and sisters, we pray Allah the Almighty that Allah continues to bless you, bless this conference, and bless Ikna for the marvelous work that they have done. If I would guess, speculate, how many people became Muslim after the Gaza, I would say plenty. Hundreds of thousands, a million more, Allah knows best. If I could speculate, how many people will go to Jannah as a result of what happened to Gaza? I would say plenty. The Prophet والسلام, said, Allahumma la isha ila la ishul akhira. Oh Allah, there is no life except the life of the hereafter. Allah asked the angels, did you take the life of the beloved of my servant? Did you take the life of the children of Gaza? They said yes. What did my slave say? When you took their child, what did they say? Yaquluna hamidaka wastarja'a. He said, Oh Allah, we praise you and we accept your qadra. We're happy with your qadra. Qala ibnu li abdi baytin fil jannah wa samahu baytul ham. Allah told the angels, then build for my slave a house in jannah and call it the house of praise. What are my servants saying? They're praising you. How do Do they see me? Yaquluna la mir'awka ya rabb. They don't see you. What if they saw me? What are they seeking refuge from? They seeking refuge from the hereafter, or the hellfire. Do they see it? They don't see it. What if they saw it? Brothers and sisters, you have no idea how grateful I am for being a Muslim. Most of you were born Muslim. How many of you were born Muslim? Raise your hand. Look around. Look around. Good. How many of you, like me, converted or reverted to Islam? Raise your hand. A handful of people. And that's going to be my talk tonight for a few moments. Years ago, when I was a young man, they sang a song, What is America to Me? I like to tell you a little bit about New York. How many from New York? Raise your hand. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. New York is in the house. All right, calm down. <laughs> Think about New York City. One million five hundred thousand Muslims in New York City. Three hundred, three hundred masjids. Thirty full-time Muslim schools. And I've been saying for years. 
thousands of Muslim businesses until I just found out recently. You know how many Muslim businesses in New York City? Are you ready? 96,000 Muslim businesses in New York City. My, no, my dua today that Allah opens wide the front door so that people come into Islam and close that back door. وَأَنزَلَ التَّوْرَى فِيهَا حُدًا وَنُورٍ And we sent down the Torah, in it is guidance and light. And gave him, him who? Isa, Al-Injil fihi hudan wa nur. In it is guidance and light. My brothers and sisters, my prayer is that the Muslim imams, the leaders, heads of Muslim organizations, Open wide the front door and close the back door. One morning we were at my masjid for Salatul Fajr. And one of the brothers there who comes almost every day, I said, oh, where's your son? He said, oh man, imam. I said, you tell your son I want to see him. And the next day he came for Fajr. And he came the day after that. And then he disappeared again. I said, what happened? He said, Imam, so we are having challenges with our youth, many of them. Opened wide the front door. Allah blessed me with children. Anyone know how many children I have? Nine. And Every one of them went to a full-time Muslim school. Every one of them. Many of our children go to public school. I'm not saying you can't thrive. You can. But it is difficult. One out of ten students in public school in New York City are Muslims. Our job open the front door and close the back door. Most of you know my history. I came from the same history of Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, in the nation of Islam. When I was a student in New York University, not one Muslim came to me and invited me to Islam. But the brothers from the Nation of Islam, they came and sat next to me and said, how you doing, my black brother? So I joined the Nation of Islam like Malcolm X, like Muhammad Ali. 19, how did they know that I wanted some water? Allahu Akbar, that's pure love. Thank you. Allah blessed us in 1975 with the death of Mr. Elijah Muhammad and his son, Imam Walat Ali Muhammad, who transformed that nation of Islam to Muslims. And now, alhamdulillah, we join the Muslim Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My recommendation to you there are a lot of people out there not Muslim. Will we invite them? There are so many people in need of the da'wah. Open wide the front door and close the back door. Can I give you a scene on Yom al-Qiyamah? Consider this. 
there will be some people in the hellfire and they will cry out. Those Muslims will cry out. They see people in the hellfire. They recognize, Rabbana, ikhwanuna, kanu yusalluna ma'ana. Oh Allah, our brothers, they used to pray with us. Wa yusumuna ma'ana. And they fasted with us, but hujuna ma'ana, and they made hajj with us. We ought to ask the question, if they prayed with us, they made hajj with us, they fasted with us, what are they doing in the hellfire? Do not be like those who forgot Allah. Do not die except by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, for this crowd coming for the ICNA conference, my prayer is that we be concerned with two people. Number one, those who used to come to the masjid. I know some who left the masjid. I'm sure you did too. Allah warns us, do not be like those who forgot Allah. Therefore, Allah caused them to forget themselves. Don't you tell me how you began the race. How did you end? In the Mal-Ahmalu bil Khawateen, the Prophet said, alayhi salat wa salam, your deeds shall be judged by your last deeds. So today, my little admonition, my advice is that we as Muslims be concerned not only for today, but for tomorrow and our children. In Italy, it is predicted by the year 2050, 60% of the Italians will have no brothers, no sisters, no cousins, no aunts, no uncles. What happened? Those who have gone away from Allah, Allah caused them to go away from themselves. I've traveled all throughout America. If I can tell you how many Muslim, uh, Muslims have bought churches, that they sold the churches to the masjids, sold the synagogues to the masjids, churches closing down, synagogues closing down. And finally, the Prophet Ali Salat Wasalam said, You will follow those who came before you, shibran be shibran, step by step and inch by inch, so that if they crawled in a hole of a lizard, you follow right behind. You never know how Allah the Almighty is going to help us and to guide us even amongst the difficulty. Do not be like those who forgot Allah. In the year, last 25 years, 40 million churches in America have closed down. Will we follow? Will we be like that? In the United Kingdom, since 1960, 16,000 churches have closed in the United Kingdom. The British used to brag, the sun never set on the British Empire. Now look at it. How many states in the United States? Fifty. One state, Texas, almost three times bigger, larger than the United Kingdom. What happened? Do not be like those who forgot Allah, therefore Allah caused them to forget themselves. Brothers and sisters, Today, my message is simple. 
invite the people to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I would like to give you something that happened to me when I was in the nation of Islam. I went, I knocked on thousands of doors. One day I'm on Eastern Parkway and I'm looking at a building about to go in and I see two young men in the hallway. I said to myself, they're going to try to rob me. I'm asking you, should I go into the hallway? How many say yes? Raise your hand. Yeah, you would go, right? How many say no, Imam, don't go? Allahu Akbar. I decided I'm going to go in there because I ain't afraid of nobody. So I go into the hallway, two men, the guy on the right looked mean. And the one on the left looked the more reasonable. The guy on the right, I took out a Muhammad's Peace newspaper. And I put it under his arm. In the other one, I put another Muhammad Speaks newspaper under his arm, and I said, give me 25 cents. True story. The guy on the right took out a gun and said, you just can't rob a Muslim. Put his gun back in his pocket and gave me 25 cents. And the other one gave me 25 cents. What's the lesson? You can argue about the aqidah of the nation of Islam all you want. You can. But the one thing you can't argue about, their love for their people and going after their people. Imam Talib told me in Harlem one day, there was a black woman with a hoodie on walking down the street of Harlem and there were two men behind her and she perceived that they may be following her. So she stepped up a little bit, they stepped up. She began to jog, jog, they began to jog, and when they were just about to grab her, her hoodie fell off, revealing Kima. And they stopped. Oh, sister, we sorry. Why? Right, Akida? No but right intention. My question to you and us, do we care about the people? Open wide the front door, close the back door. The constant dripping of water on a stone will drill a hole in the stone. Not a tornado, not a hurricane, but a little bit. So my prayers today in this conference, may Allah bless you and your children, but be careful. That back door is open. A couple of weeks ago, I was in the United Kingdom and some of the young Shabab, they drove me around in Birmingham, Manchester. They said, Imam Suraj, the Muslim youth here in UK are going crazy. They're selling drugs like everyone else. They're robbing people. And he said, so many of the people in prison are inhabited by Muslims. He said something like 40, 45% of the inmates are Muslims. Why am I saying this? Two things we have to be careful about with our youth to make sure that they remain in the masjid. Our masjid began 1978, 25 members, all of them former nation of Islam. Now, average Juma, 1,500 people. We were 100% of the population. Now, maybe the African Americans, maybe 20% of the population of my masjid. 
35 different nationalities. So, in my conclusion, alhamdulillah, so good to be a Muslim. Allahumma la aisha illa al aishu al akhirah. Two things on Yom al Qiyamah and then I finish. You see, when you try to judge someone who dies in this life, you can't do it. The Prophet والسلام, said, No one who dies in this life and go to Jannah but were to come back here in this life, even if they're given everything in, in it. Illa shaheed. Except the shaheed, the martyr. Why would a martyr want to come back here? To die 10 more times in the way of Allah because of the great honor that Allah bestowed upon them. Don't worry about the people of Gaza who lost their lives. They're good, sure. We, of course, we, we moan for them, of course. And then Allah will ask the person least punished in hellfire. If you had all the wealth in the world, would you exchange it to get out of this? And he would say, yes. So therefore, in this wonderful gathering, I make dua that Allah will bless every one of you. That all of the trials that you have, they're going to purify you. Stay in the deen. Never leave the deen and do everything that we can with our children to give them the best choice. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.